It is the 29th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I uh, just want to clarify some things about Zipcast. I will not be leaving YouTube anytime soon unless they force me out kicking and screaming. Uh, this is the cool camera I have to use for Zipcast to work, and I put that on the lowest setting uh, just to try to save Zipcast a little bandwidth. Um, help them out. It's moving so slowly. Uh, but we'll get there and we'll let them work the bugs out and see what happens. I'm not giving up on Zipcast either. Uh, let's go ahead and start off on SOT.net. U.S. problems plague cleanup at Hanford Nuclear Waste Site. The U.S. government is building a, tr a treatment plant to stabilize and contain 56 million gallons of waste left from a half century of nuclear weapons production. The radioactive sludge is so dangerous that a few hours of exposure could be fatal. A major leak could contaminate water supplies serving millions across the Northwest. The cleanup is m the most complex and costly environmental restoration ever attempted. The story continues. And they're still trying to build um, nuclear power plants. They want to build another one here in Iowa. They're about ready to jack up our rates to pay for it. Costa Rica National Broadcaster covers mysterious booming noise over San Jose. And uh, they have a video attached on that. Haiti could be the new earthquake cycle, scientists say. And um, <clears throat> right on the Caribbean, um, that plate line there, very unstable from Haiti all the way up past Puerto Rico. Uh, into Cuba. And that's about all new uh, they have tonight. Over to the extinction protocol. Science bewildered by mass migration of snowy owls from the Arctic. Bird enthusiasts are reporting rising numbers of snowy owls from the Arctic, winging it into the lower 48 states this winter in a mass southern migration that leading owl researchers called unbelievable. And they're from coast to coast, as far south as Missouri. Um, quote, what we're seeing now, it's unbelievable, said uh, head of the Owl Research Institute in Montana. It's the most significant wildlife event in decades. And they're saying it's not uncommon for a few owls to come down in the wintertime, uh, but this is uh, unprecedented numbers, and it's a mystery of great migration. Uh, two moderate earthquakes steer, uh, strike near Japan's famed Mount Fuji volcano. A two moderate earthquakes stuck near the dormant volcano in eastern Japan on early, early Saturday morning, seismologists said. But there were no immediate reports of damage or casualties. Of course, Japan's been very unstable uh, for a very long time. And uh, according to history, major quakes uh, tend to make Mount Fuji erupt. And uh, again, it's like 41 miles west of Tokyo. U.S. to begin a large-scale emergency preparedness drills for the New Madrid Fault Line region. Washington's Emergency Management Director is encouraging individuals, businesses, schools, and services groups and to, to participate in a regional earthquake preparedness drill. Uh, the Great Central U.S. Shakeout will take place Tuesday, February 7 at 10.15 a.m. As of Friday, more than 1.6 million participants from the region have agreed to take part in the drill in some form. More than 366,000 are from Missouri so far. Those interested in taking part in the drill can sign up to register, and they have the website there. I encourage YouTubers to go and uh, volunteer for this drill. Let's get some video of this and uh, what's going on. That'd be kind of cool, actually. The scientists find a new dangerous 200 kilometer long, long fault line off the coast of Japan. Uh, and they're saying it could trigger up to an 8.0 magnitude earthquake. And there's a big shelf that has caused major tsunamis when this fault line has slipped in the past. And that is all Japan needs when they're just about ready to okay the test drills and the safety stuff to start firing up those nuclear reactors once again. <sighs> 6.2 magnetic chromatic earthquake sets off swarm of aftershocks. Uh, this is north uh, of New Zealand's and uh, this is an ongoing situation which is on the ring of fire. Uh, 
just the other day, you know, Christchurch is still getting aftershocks into the four high four regions. And over to the watchers, the tropical cyclone Iggy triggered tornadoes across Java and Bali and now threatens Australia. Uh, tropical cyclone Iggy, which was responsible for producing tornadoes across Indonesia, will brush western Australia and produce heavy rain and storm sur surge. The threat remains for tropical cyclone Iggy to bring western Australia's northwestern tip hurricane strength winds and unleash flooding rainfall over the next couple of days. And this isn't going to help those forest fires in western Australia one little bit. That's all they need is high winds. And that has a long story in with that. Uh, I got a few stories over on Ice Age now. Extreme cold in Kuwait. Since last Friday, the country has experienced uncommonly cold weather as temperatures drop below freezing in many areas. Not very common in Kuwait. Uh, pretty much the quote of hell's frozen over, right? Britain artist blast could bring big freeze for a month. Four inches of snow expected across higher grounds. Hail, too. And uh, another story, Britain shivers in cold blast. Chill set to last until next week. A bitter winter in China attempts down to minus 45 degrees Celsius. Uh, more than 1,100 people died in 280 snow plows work to clear roads. 16 concerned scientists, no need to panic about global warning. In spite of the multitude of international campaign to demonize pollutant carbon dioxide, the number of scientists, scientific, scientific heretics is growing with each passing year. And I'm one of those heretics. Global warming, uh, carbon tax emission is a scam to get as much money out of you as they can. Uh, volcanoes spew out more CO2 uh, than, your, than your RVs. Uh, winter returns to Europe with a vengeance. Over to the RSOE. Uh, we have flooding on Australia, Queensland. Uh, of course, the forest fires going on in Western Australia continue. <clears throat> uh, extreme weather in Lebanon. They had some heavy rains and landslides that closed down a few roads. Major uh, thoroughfares in the capital city. Uh, big forest fire in China and the Yulong Snow Mountain area. And a volcano eruption in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, which started off in early January, continues. Uh, a bunch of scientists trekked all the way up there, because uh, this volcano is out in the middle of nowhere, basically, uh, saying that the, the eruption continues. Uh, not quite as bad as the first few weeks when it first set off, but the lava pool is small, and there's, there's still a lot of activity going on there. Uh, that's about all new climate change-wise I have tonight. Uh, over to the nuclear stuff. Leftovers. <clears throat> Local governments testing school lunches after children have already eaten in Japan. They're testing the food after the kids eat. The pain. They're dishing out the pain equally, even to their kids. Uh, Minichi on Plutonium Paradox in Japan. What do you do with spent MOX fuel? Uh, seen as the number three reactor blew up qu quite extensively and spent a great number of uh, metric tons of MOX plutonium fuel into the Pacific Ocean, lying on the seafloor. Uh, just insane what's going on in Japan. Top Tokyo director dealing with nuclear worker demands government step in at Fukushima plant for safety re reasons. Some of these employees are unable to read. So, uh, yeah, they're getting anybody they can in there uh, willing to get a little bit of money until they work them to death, literally. Uh, another Fukushima farmer in exclusion zone. It's already as bad as Chernobyl. I saw splashing ash after explosions. Baby cows dying, one after one. And they have a video involved in that. And, uh... And that's about all new they have tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. And again, let me emphasize, I'm not going anywhere. 
I will still be here at YouTube primarily because there's there's no way I can reach out and touch as many people as I can here. Don't forget, my rebels, hit that remix button, rebroadcast this out. I don't care about view counts. I really don't. And uh, get it out there and let's cause some trouble. So until next time, enjoy what I can, everybody. Stay safe.